Hello, in this video we're going to be using school data loggers to be able to time things which we're going to need to be able to use for our required practical uh, about force is equal to mass times acceleration. So, to start with, uh, school data loggers come in a box like this, data harvest, and look like this. Okay, so if you get your data logger out of the box you also need the power supply that goes with it. The power supply uh, plugs in at the back here. There's a couple of uh, points. You plug it into that bit there. So if you get your power supply, it just plugs into that bit there. And also, obviously, you'll need to plug in um, to the mains. So that's the first bit. Make sure that you've got the mains on. Next bit, this won't work unless we attach some sensors to it. We're going to look at two different ways we can measure time. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you need to get one of these, which is a light gate, and we're going to be connecting it up to the data logger. Now, the data logger's got six different inputs because they can do absolutely loads of different things with different sensors. Today, we're just going to use these two inputs. And if you notice, these are numbered one to six. These ones have got letters A and B. So these are the only two that we're going to be using today. So what you need to do is you need to connect your um, light gate up for the first thing with port A. To do that, you need one of these cables. We have got some shorter ones and some longer ones. If you've got the longer ones in the box, use the longer ones. So we're just going to connect up one light gate with, um, with port A on the data logger. Now to connect them up, we've got a port there to plug into the light gate and plug it in, as I said, to that one there. OK, now you've got that plugged in, here's the difficult bit. The first bit that people get, uh, people struggle with with these data loggers is how do you turn them on? Right, to turn them on, all you are going to do is, you see all the buttons here? There's three that have got writing on, meter, enter and stop. Press all of those three ones at once, and when you release it, it comes on. Now, what you're going to do to set it up so that you can just use it for timer, it says easy log, enter to begin. We're not going to use easy log. So what you're going to do is either press the up or the down arrow, and you're going to scroll through the different um, options. So don't press enter. Go up and down. You see we've got system, timing. There are other ones. There's snapshot, fast log, remote, meter, and then we're back to the, the uh, start screen. So just press it so we've got timing. And to start with, we want to set timing mode, timing at A. We've just got a light gate uh, connected to A, so we want timing at A. So we press enter there, and that should be set up for timing at A. Now what happens is, if anything comes and breaks the light on our data logger, it should tell us here how, for how long the, uh, the, the light was blocked for. It's got a little light that shines between there and there. That, that's what it's measuring, how long that blocks for. So there you can see that's been blocked for 712.35 ms. ms stands for milliseconds. So where it's got 712.35 milliseconds, you probably want to convert that into seconds if you were using this for an experiment. So 712.35 milliseconds, I divide by 1,000 to get that into seconds, and that's 0 0.71235 seconds. Okay, so that's how we do timing at A, and you can see if we just block that for a little bit, it will change and give different readings. We block it for um, a longer time, we obviously get a bigger reading there. So that's the first thing we can use them for, for timing at A, and you've got to make sure that you're plugged into A. The second thing that we can use it for is timing uh, at A and B. So to do that, you're going to need another um, light gate, and we're going to plug it in to port B, which is that one. So I'll just get that bit done. Right, I've plugged them both in, and uh, to, to reset it so that it's not just timing at A anymore, just press all three buttons at once, and it will bring you back to the start screen. This time, scroll through till you get to timing. Press Enter when you're on timing, but we don't want to set timing mode at A. We want to set timing mode A to B. Then what happens is, 
I've got this light gate in at uh, port A, this light gate in at port B. If we had them set up so something could break the light in A, then break the light in B, that would tell us um, the time in between A and B. So there, 4,545.51 milliseconds, divide by 1,000, that's just over 4.5 seconds. Now, obviously, having your light gates on the table like this, that's not going to uh, be much use if we want, to we want to use them to measure speed. So what we do is we use our clamp stands, and we use this bit, and if you uh, join this bit up, if you screw that into the hole there, then what we can do is we can put them on the clamp stands. So here's an example of how you want, might want to set up your, your light gates. Uh, you're going to put them on a clamp stand. Now notice I've got a stand here and I've got this bit which is called a boss. I haven't used the clamp, I've just put this um, metal holder straight into the boss. So I've got two of those set up and they are connected to the data logger at ports A and B. And the first, I'm going to see how long it takes this trolley to go through. It's going to go through light gate A, first of all, and then light gate B. So um, we're going to use this, as I said, for some experiments. But if I just show you, as it, the trolley goes through um, light gate A, the light came on showing that uh, that had a reading, and then through B. If I look at what it says there, it tells me how long it took to go through A and B. Remember, that's in um, microseconds. If I want to do that again, if I push the trolley back, it's gone through B and then gone through A, so that might have uh, confused the system. So all I'm going to do before I take another reading is I'm going to block A and block B, so that reads something off, so we can try again. So I'll just make sure that I've cleared the system, and then I'll go again. So it goes through A, and the light comes on, it goes through B, the light comes on, and it gives us a reading there of how long it took. Okay, if we just wanted to use one light gate, if we were just timing at A, we wouldn't need to have the second light gate there, but that's how you set up the light gates to use for the experiments that we're going to do on acceleration.